We had a request from a, a kind of a weather historian that, that writes for a web page called the Weather Underground to look into a record that has been held for decades across the world in terms of what is the hottest temperature recorded on the Earth. Um, it had been the value of 100 and, uh, roughly 136 degrees Fahrenheit, 58 degrees Celsius, at El Azira in Libya in 1922. Um, there was some concerns that that particular value might not have been recorded properly. So in my uh, capacity as something that's called the Rapporteur of Extreme Weather and Climate for the World Meteorological Organization, it's kind of the United Nations of weather services around the world, we formed a committee of absolute experts across the entire world in meteorology to look at this record. It was in essence playing detective. We were drawing up all the old records and all the information that we could find for how and exactly in what way was this measurement made back in 1922. And we found some pretty startling things. Um, we found that the instrument that they used was not the proper instrument that is used to make temperatures. That it was, uh, at this particular time, the site where this observation was made was an Italian fort. And the regular thermometer that they used for this fort had broken a few days earlier. So they had to find one. And they found something that's called a bell thermometer. It is an extremely old style thermometer that uses a combination of alcohol and mercury as its way of finding the temperature. It's a very odd instrument and it's also very difficult to use properly. And we're pretty sure that the person that was tasked with taking the measurements using this instrument didn't know how to use it. Um, we have some, some ideas about that simply from the log sheet that he looked at. When we looked at the log sheet, we have the original 1922 log sheet from this particular set of observations, um, we found that the observer had put the numbers in the wrong columns. Well, that kind of tells us that he wasn't used to doing uh, weather observation work. You don't put the low temperature in the column that is associated with the high temperature and the high temperature in the column associated with the low temperature. So when we saw that, that kind of put some warning bells into our, uh, our investigation. And when we then started to look at his observations and compared them to surrounding locations and then also compared them to earlier and later observations at that same site, we found that they simply didn't match up. That the observations that he made in September of 1922, the new person that was making those measurements, didn't match up very well. And we think what had happened is that using this particular instrument, it's pretty easy to make a, a, an error of reading on one side of the thermometer scale as opposed to the other, and we think he read on the wrong side of the, the scale, and so was off by five degrees of Celsius uh, temperature. That meant that if you adjusted for that, there was no 136 degree temperature that was recorded in El Azira in September of 1922. So based on that information, based on some really involved detective work from these meteorologists that are basically from around the entire world, the committee of experts uh, decided that this measurement at El Azira simply wasn't valid, that it's not the world's hottest temperature. And we had gotten the head of the uh, Libyan Climate Service as one of the members on this committee. Um, there was a revolution in Libya. And we did not hear from our friend in Libya for the next six months. And we were kind of in a holding pattern waiting to find out exactly what had happened. It turns out that he did actually survive the, the revolution and got over to the rebel side and actually is still the head of the Libyan climate service. Now in the post Qaddafi uh, regime, he has got the same position. The next hottest temperature that's been recorded on this planet occurred in Death Valley, and that temperature was 134 degrees Fahrenheit. 
And so consequently, that temperature becomes the new hottest temperature recorded on this planet. By recorded, by the way, we're, we're meaning within, say, the last 150 years of records that we have. That there have been times in geologic history of the Earth that we've been much, much hotter, much, much colder. But we're talking about the instrumented record that we have available to us.